Hello, this is Jay Camera here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Lego Batman set from 2008, Robin Scuba Jet Attack of the Penguin, the number is 7885, released for 20 US dollars with around 200-ish pieces, it includes two minifigures, four if you count Brick Belt Penguin Minions, and two vehicles. So here's the box. This came out the same year as the Dark Knight film, so we've got the Dark Knight logo and Batman's design in that film. And you get the minifigures, this time with names, which wasn't a thing from previous years on the boxes. And it can also be seen up here on the top. You get the barcode down here. We've got advertisements for the video game. And as we take a look at the back of the box, we've got play features shown. We get the comic strip up here, which are pretty quirky and tongue in cheek, but they're serviceable and show a fair amount of story for what these sets should have. It also appears in the instructions, which was not at all a thing with 2006 and 2007 sets, but in 2008 they changed that. Speaking of 2008, here are the other sets that came out this year. This one I've already taken a look at, and these two I'll be taking a look at next. So that's the box, then we move on to the instructions for the same packaging style, how to sort bags, what each bag contains, minifigures, and then we get to build small or largest with the bat signal in the sky, and then we get to the pieces, and of course the set all together. We get play features again, the comic strip, as I mentioned earlier, advertisement for Lego Batman the video game, and the other sets along the wave, and advertisements for the Lego Club. Now, we sh shall take a look at the minifigures. Actually, something that I just forgot to mention is that there's a couple of spare pieces. We get an extra red stud. And a Tommy gun, which isn't included in the set, but it came with mine, so I thought I'd mention it just for fun. So, for once in a LEGO Batman set, Batman is nowhere to be seen in this set. Which I think was a very smart decision, because there's not that many other vehicles you could do with him after, you know, the Batmobile, Batwing, Batcopter, Batbike, Batboat, and everything. So I'm glad they gave him a break and gave Robin the spotlight, which makes this set a lot more unique. And this figure is mostly the same as the version seen in 2006. I don't know why they changed the hair. My original guess was to, to keep up with that era of Lego, because things were changing, like, beginning to then, but that hair piece from the original figure was still around and being used then. So I don't get what the deal is. Maybe it's to fit in like the scuba jet that we'll see later, but from what I've tested, it seems to fit fine. Personally, I prefer the original, though that's mostly because of nostalgia from the video game. I'd say that this is still a great figure that looks like Robin, and I do think the mask could be black, and a dual molded cape would be nice, but for what it is, it's a decent, solid figure. And here's the villain of the set, the Penguin, it was exactly the same as the version seen in the Batcave set. He has no back printing, neither does Robin, by the way. And I think out of the older figures, he definitely holds up as one of the best from that time. Like, you could bring this figure out during the 2010s and it would fit in right in perfectly. 
not to say that none of the others couldn't, uh, many of them could, but this one in particular, despite the fact that there isn't much printing on him, but honestly I don't really have much else to say that I haven't already. And here are two robot penguin minions. For some reason this set only has two when the Batcave has three. I get that the set is much smaller, but it is clearly meant to be focusing more on Robin and the Penguin, whilst the Batcave set was, well, about the Batcave and Robin and Penguin and Freeze and all that were just because we need to make a story for the set, but... Regardless, here they are, and they're quite timeless and really pop with the colours, even though the red does not do them justice, according to the camera, even though they really don't look that good in person. One of them comes with a pistol, and another comes with a harpoon, which makes sense for the story taking place. And I'm glad that they actually changed the weapon up, to make it look more exciting and interesting. Although I would have liked it if they just scrapped the pistol altogether and maybe had a dynamite piece, but the pistol is pretty cute as well, and it makes it threatening enough. The two accessories in the set are an umbrella for the penguin and a diamond for the penguin that he stole that Robin is trying to get back. And I believe this is the first time a clear diamond piece is actually used for a Batman set. We saw a couple before in like dark blue and ice blue, but the first time it's used in clear, surprisingly. And then the umbrella is was also in the back cave, but it was in only black pieces and can move up and down and was smaller. This one is completely stationary and has a light grey piece as the stick instead. Um, between which one I like more, mm, I personally go back and forth, but for now let's call it a tie. First build up, we have Robin's Scuba Jet. So... Out of the sets, I must say, this one is by far the most colourful, which I won't spoil for recommendations, but let's just say that's definitely in its favour. So when a cockpit comes off, this piece I always manage to take off, which I don't know if it's just mine, but it is a little annoying. And in there you see there's plenty of room to put Robin in. You do have to take off his cape though if you don't want to ruin it and put him in securely, so I'm not going to do that. Psych! Of course I'm going to show you. That's the point of the video, to show some of the play features. And we've got a little propeller back here, and we got the Robin logo on a couple stickers, and these turbine pieces I don't know if they're exclusive to the set, but they are certainly rare. And we got a couple of these bits, which I don't know if they're lights or they're meant to be, like, guns to fire. Like, in the video game, they work as guns, but the set really doesn't make it clear, so... Robin is really unprepared, and he doesn't even have, like, any controls or breathing apparatus, which... Makes it pretty stupid and illogical when you think about it longer than five seconds, but it looks cool, I'll give it that. And given that this is a bigger set, it gives Robin a lot more to work with, even though the 2006 Batcave made it clear that this was a gun, making it go pew pew, and it had controls, so I don't know what's up with that, but design wise, it looks better, so. Now, I'd say it's a tie between which one's better. Although, I suppose the other one does have a slight edge of being prominent in the video game, or this one was in it, but not as prominent. Then we get into the big show of the set, the Penguin Submarine. Which, usually in vehicle sets, the hero vehicle, usually Batman's, 
in fact always Batman except for this one, is usually the main focus, but this time it's the villain fear call, meaning that Robin really did get screwed over. Not that it's always the case in Batman sets, but it is often. So, so the play features include flick fire missiles, which I don't know how popular of an opinion this is, but in my opinion, they have significantly improved on them since 2006, where they were really loose. These ones are more secure, so they don't fall off. See? And we also got this right here. Your telescope. I'm forgetting what it's called. I'm not really into submarine technology and all that. You can also remove the top of this. And you actually get to have the penguin look in. And controls for him right there. And you can actually sit the penguin in there really nicely. Taking advantage of his short legs. And because there's enough space in there, you don't even need to worry about the hat so much. We also have a Bionicle-styled missile, which all you need to do is flick this lever right here. You lift it up and fire. You can also move these propellers up and down and these fins, which makes it look like a penguin a little bit. We have quite a few stickers, which are mostly pretty good, but most of them are a little pointless, like you could have had them be pieces. We got a penguin face on there, which looks cool. And a little intimidating with the red eyes and teeth. Not to me, but I'm sure really little kids who picked this up back in the day may have been a little spooked. We get one right here, which is apparently supposed to be tally marks for how many battles Batman has had with the Penguin. I don't know if it's with the specific vehicle or just overall, but that's what it's for. And of course, we've got the Dark Knight logo. Comparing the between the two of them. This one definitely has a lot more play features to offer. It's a lot bigger and a little bit more colorful, I'd say. But this one, I don't know. I've got a bit of a soft spot for because I like the design of it more. It looks more like a penguin and I really like how the fins in this one work a bit more. And this one, I like how it opens up more, personally. But on the other hand, this one is like the the vehicle in the video game. The, the one that you fight and the one that Penguin's supposed to use. This is like the one that the goons use, but I don't know. Again, I sort of, I'm sort of torn between the two of them. So overall, this is a very unique, colourful and fun set. And I'm can definitely see why this is like one of the few that many people own if they collected the old sets. Because it's cheap and really affordable compared to many others. And it really has a unique identity among other Batman sets. But on the other hand, I do feel like when you really think about the story, it can be pretty stupid and a bit style over substance, particularly with this vehicle right here and in hindsight it is obviously meant to just be a cheaper way to get robin penguin and their vehicles and to fully expand on them and if you have the bat cave set there isn't really much of a reason to get this one but if you don't have this set this is one i would highly recommend getting so in total the score i'm giving this is an 8.3 out of 10. Next up is going to be the Bat Cycle Harley Quinn's Hammer Truck set. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I'll see you all later.